Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to overclock and undervolt your cards or your GPUs for mining. So let's mine away. We're going to start by typing into Google Open Hardware Monitor. Now this will help you in actual monitoring your temperatures. Download now and then go to show folder. Okay, then you have to extract it. Okay, I'm going to copy it to another file. Okay, so I can simplify it for you guys. Uh, you go to the other file and then you paste. Now this is uh, really easy. Okay, and then you have to extract from your WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, okay, download it. I'm going to put links, all the links down the, um, you know, in the description. Anyways, then you have will have some lag. So then you also going to open the file, and as you can see, we have loads of GPUs, CPUs, uh, the motherboard, okay, all temperatures, and this will be needed as a third-party software. So you can see all the temperatures, you know, uh, how much electricity is going in. So this will really help you out okay, in overclocking and undervolting, but this is not the only software. So now we're going back into Google, okay, and we're going to download another software. The other software is called MSI Afterburner. And then download the MSI Afterburner version, but make sure it is actually the download. Okay, it's not the beta version. So you download that, go back into the show downloads file. And then we do the same thing, we copy, paste it on another file, we extract it using WinRAR. So uh, all the links in the description for uh, open hardware software, MSI Afterburner, and WinRAR additions, okay, for 64-bit and 32-bit machines. Then you have languages, okay, English, okay, we click next step, okay, we are inside the wizard, you agree on the terms and agreements. Okay, we go in and make sure these two are checked in so we can actually, you know, monitor the analysis, uh, the information data, you know, uh, analyze things. And then you just go, uh, keep uh, going in. Then after you click uh, next, you actually, you need the shortcut. So do not tick that, you know, uh, box. Keep it unticked as you can see on the screen. After that, you just, you know, uh, click uh, next. Okay guys, and then it will install, we'll get the Revit Uner wizard, so as again, you know, yeah, you click next, you click, you know, uh, you need a shortcut, so uh, nothing t too uh, really hard, but the hard bit we're going to come into a second. So this right here is MSI Afterburner, as you can see we have, this is the UI, now let me just change one of the things so you can guys to understand the user interface, because when you download uh, MSI Afterburner, you will start with this white skin. Okay, as you can see, just let it load. As you can see, you will start with this, as you can see on my screen. And anyways, let me explain. So core voltage, this is how much voltage is going to your card. Okay, the power limit. Now you need to concentrate on five things. Okay, uh, mainly the power limit, temperature limit, okay, core clock, memory clock, and fan speed. Let me explain. Power limit is how much, you know, uh, power per percentage going to your card. Mainly this is for like electricity rates, meaning for example, you want 80% going to your card, 60, 70%. Now within mining, for example, when you're mining on Dagger Hashimoto, mining some Ethereum, okay, we put it at 60%, but maybe when they change the algorithm, it maybe will be different. Okay, depending on the algorithm you're mining, also, temperature limit is sometimes synced with this, so if you want to remove this link, okay, you just remove it like this. You can actually control, but I recommend you keep the link, okay, just for, uh, you know, uh, st keeping the card stable. Now, the core clock changes the, how much, like, you know, uh, electricity going back and forth within the card is a really important thing, okay, these are the most important. Memory clock is also how much memory. For example, the memory that I'm using right now for my card uh, is the GTX 1066 gigabytes on this system. So I have one 1066 gigabytes. So the most it can go to is nearly just, you know, uh, 600. Cannot go any further. If I put it like at 900, it will crash totally. So let's not play with that guy. So let's keep it at zero. And as you can see, this is self-explanatory fan speed. Okay, now going into here, this is the settings wheel, as you can uh, see me just before that working with this. So here's the master graphics, you can actually put them in synchronization, but don't do that, because different cards are different, you know, in terms of clock, because look at our, the RX 580, okay, it's another card from another manufacturer, manufacturer called AMD, this is from NVIDIA, NVIDIA cards, if you're new to the community. 
So uh, if you have a whole rig, actually keep them in synchronized, you know, just to keep hash rate stable. Okay, you have general properties. Okay, uh, don't mess with all this stuff unless you want to play with the voltage. I don't suggest so. Okay, on the core voltage unless you know what you're doing. Here's the fence monitoring. Uh, mainly, you know, we're not going to use the whole thing. But you know, I just like to always keep my skin okay, off my MSI afterburner at, you know, red. It's just aesthetic. I uh, know the other red. Let me just change that again okay as you can see as you can see this is much better much more uh, flexible and uh, let's go into the tutorial so guys here we are on nice hash now if you want to learn how to mine on nice hash here's a tutorial on the right now anyways how do we overclock for mining now as you can see here the first thing you need to do okay before anything before starting even that start button okay you have to also open the fan speed Okay, you think by clicking auto so right here it's actually on auto so it will actually do all the calculations itself it will keep changing but in mining it is suggested to keep actually at a single pace for example keep it at 36 percent but that's not where we're going to keep keep for example I sometimes put nearly 50 to 55 percent on my cards okay so I don't run them really loud so I can sleep at the night and still mine cryptocurrencies Okay, now the next thing you need to learn about is core clock and memory clock. Now, important, important thing. Every card has a different way of overclocking. Okay, every card is different. Okay, in that sense, for example, my 1060 is 6 gigabyte model. Okay, other 1080s are 8 gigabyte models. 1070 Ti is different. So, depending on your card, you have to look onto your communities. Now... The way I look onto overclocking any card at the beginning before I start testing anything, I look at what to mine, for example, here what to mine says, you know, insert the hash rates, okay, powers for a number of 1066 gigabyte using 150 plus, okay, on the core clocks, 500 plus on the memory, because if I go beyond 600, okay, it's going to crash. So you don't want to really go that far, okay, I'm going to try to stay as precise as possible, guys. I want you to be concentrated so 65% on the power consumption anyways let's go back into our downloads file so right now let's open these now firstly we put 150 now that's okay that you can change them later on so uh, based on performance let me just click zero as you can see 150 on the core clock these also change as you change things okay now remember something that when you change stuff you want to go really far, okay, really fast, because that also might crash or lag out your system. So here, let's put a 65, and then, you know, we are going to come back right here and change the memory clock slowly, okay, nothing too crazy. Uh, zero, zero, as you can see, if you have 1066 gigabyte, I think that will work with you. So let's start mining, just as an example, okay, now we're going to get, hopefully, a CMD file. Okay, that to show us the performance as you can see uh, the temperature is picking up okay I'm not sure if it will lag as, as the system okay um, now uh, let's look so right here it's mining okay here it's mining on dagger Hashimoto now uh, remember this is not as profitable as nice hash legacy but this is just for uh, you know uh, just tutorial purposes so as you can see now the reason why we take down the power limit that much Okay, is to actually have, you know, uh, less power consumption for better hash rate. Now, depending on the algorithm, depending on the card. Guys, there's a lot of factors to put in. For example, the type of your card. Okay, for example, if you have 1070 Ti, go on Reddit. Okay, see what 1070 Ti overclocks are for a certain algorithm. You want to really just try to carve out as much information as possible in this space. Now, let's go to 500. Now let's go slowly. We don't want we want to keep a slow pace so the car doesn't go too crazy. Now, as you can see, the temperature is increasing. Now, suggested okay, this is just a tip from me, from your brother. Okay, uh, keep the temperatures under 70 degrees for prolonged use. Okay, you don't want to run into any problems, burns, you know, anything crazy. So, as long as it's under 70, okay, that is really good. If it's above 70, well, expect your car to wear out within couple months to a year so uh, there's no just something that called a guarantee maybe someone will come in the comments and say I have been running them for two years but some cases some people run them at 80 degrees and saying oh that's all good that's not good guys 
anyways as you can see we are reaching 60 so for example right here you change this now everything will stay as uh, you know uh, working let me just change this as you can see 60 fan speed percent okay as you can see now that it might decrease but because uh, my system is a bit clo close so uh, let's just wait for a second now let's go and uh, kick the bucket for our uh, GPU I'm just joking okay as you can see now we clicked now we have to expect a higher hash rate now when you are overclocking you want to look at your CMD prompt and you want to look you know uh, different performances for example uh, moments ago we saw at 15 it kept increasing as we increasing the overclock but for example let's say I put the card at 80 and look at the performance versus the overclocks because the power limit percent okay is uh, sometimes not really important for some algorithms algorithms are those things that you use okay uh, call, called like crypto magic okay you use to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies you know uh, you're not mining Bitcoin you're mining other cryptocurrencies but I don't want to be too technical guys I want to be as simple as possible so as you can see you know after it keeps increasing it has to reach somewhat to a limit okay so you can actually monitor how much you are really just making let me just get this out of the way now it will keep increasing okay on the core okay mega hashes per second as you can see now it will reach a point where it will stop increasing that's when you know you have to start testing so uh, let's do this right now so anyways let's actually for example let's put 80 uh, 80 percent okay uh, on power limit and let's see what's the difference is okay can we see any significant percentages okay when they uh, when miners try to always lower the power limit so they can get the best you know electricity usage you know it's like uh, hash rate per watt okay or mega hash per watt you know uh, that also applies to ASICs as you can see guys uh, the mega hashes per second are increasing okay which is really great as you can see daily estimated earnings 23 cents now the great thing about mining in that sense is that you can test out a lot of things and sometimes people actually put their tests out on reddit on discord on such groups so uh, I believe that you have to stay, you know, uh, a bit diligent in that sense, you know, look what in the communities, look what are the best hash rates that people are getting, what best overclocks. For example, some people actually wreck, you know, these overclocks and get even better hash rates, okay, depending on the overclocks. For example, these overclocks right now, they are good. As you can see, the hash rate is still increasing, which is really great. The goal of overclocking and under vaulting is getting the let the less you know electricity for the best hash rate okay some people might not care about overclocking i believe that's a big mistake and they can it can cost them a lot of bitcoin and money so uh, you need to look at that from that sense so basically guys this is it for mining cryptocurrencies this is how you actually start your mining you know and everything and overclocking so if you want a tutorial for how to actually download nice hash benchmark your cards add your wallets Okay, go on the right right here, okay, it's like an I button. Other than that, guys, uh, it's basically it, you know, if you have the software, overclockings, and the wallet, you're uh, pretty much, you know, set up. If you have any questions, anything, feel free, guys, to comment down below, and also join our Discord, okay, if you have any practical questions, okay, maybe problems with download downloads, or problems with the miners, anything, you know, you can ask us. Okay, and more than that guys, thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one.